this is Roger Webb and this is a Kavco tutorial where we are going to take a high resolution picture and turn it straight into a 3D relief and set some tool paths for it and it is one of the simplest processes to do with Kavco. Now this is the opening screen for Kavco. I am using the full version of Kavco, but Kavco Maker and Maker Plus will do this just as well. So I'm going to make this a little smaller. So I'm just going to select this high resolution picture and bring it straight into the window within Kavco and release it. Uh, as you can see at the moment it's rather large photograph so I'm going to make it 200 um, and in the height and the width will automatically change. The orientation or the start of the relief cut then is going to be down in the bottom left hand corner which is fairly normal for a CNC router although you can choose any of the corners or even the center which I do quite often. We're working in millimeters. Now this is the magic little trick. You select this area here. Now I know from experience um, a picture of this size of 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters I know through experience that this needs to be a maximum of two millimeters and we'll press OK. Large screen. Um, now, OK, this is the 2D window and you can see it's a, quite a high resolution picture. It's got there a little bit bigger. It's only when you sort of enlarge it like that you can see oh it's starting to go a little tiny pixely but it is uh, you know a very high resolution picture. Um, we're going to the 3D relief section and if you want to see that it has made it sort of some sort of 3D-ness if you turn the contrast out and come to the twiddle tool uh, you might be able to see that it, yeah it has gone 3D very slightly. But that's not the big change that we're after. That will come when we choose some tool paths and we do the cut. Then it will really stand out. So we're going to jump straight into tool paths. 3D toolpath. Now I'm going to use for a roughing option, well actually I'm going to choose two finishing options by the way. So I'm going to choose this one. Really as a roughing tool but uh, I'm doing, you'll see why in a minute. So we're going to select that so it's a one and a half mil ball mill and we'll set this up for a cut uh, actually we can bump that up a little bit because this is not going to be the actual finishing cut we're going to go to 0.2 of a millimeter step over step down I want to do it in one cut so I'm going to say three millimeters uh, to cover, in, in other words, to make sure that it does it in one cut. Um, we can speed that up a bit. My rotor will take it at... Um, point four, if I put 25.4 millimeters, that's exactly one inch per second. Uh, plunge rate, normally about half of that, so we'll do 12 millimeters. And we're going to run it at 20,000 RPM. And we're okay with that. 
leading moves. Oh, this is left over from a job that I was doing the other day. So, 10 degree angle, that's fine. Plunge height, that can probably come down to about 3 millimeters. Don't want to be too high. Just cuts down the time a little. Uh, ramp length TDU. Now what that actually means, it says two, uh, TDU is tool diameter units. So in other words, it's saying it's going to ramp down and the ramp length like this and like that is going to be two times the diameter. The diameter of the tool is 1.5 millimeters. So it's going to traverse in like any direction whether it be the X or the Y, it's going to move three millimeters. That is fine. Safe said five millimeter, that's okay. Now set up the material and we're going to be using a five millimeter material. So that gives us uh, a three millimeter back in. Okay, so that's that's more than enough really for this size of work. So we're going to okay that, and we're going to just call this um, half a roughing one, just for simplicity, and we're going to calculate. And there it is. Now I'm going to run the simulation on this. And we'll run it fast. And we'll simulate. Every now and again, I mean this takes about a minute or so. Um, if you wanted to see what it's doing, all you do is go over this area and left click and you can see what the simulation is uh, actually uh, doing and 99% of the time what you see here in the simulation is exactly what is it's, what's going to happen with the uh, end product on the machine. And you can see already it's a little blocky. And it looks, although it's a 3D cut, it's looking a little bit sort of. It's not exactly getting into all the letter in there, and it's even though it's a fairly small tool, and you can see here the mesh on the air filter. It's not actually. You know, it's not machined it in any great detail. And I know we can do quite a bit better than that. Okay. So it's there. It's a 3D relief. Actually, we get the twiddle tool. And, and you can see it is 3D. But we can make it a lot better than that. So what we're going to do is go, let's come out of that, go into tool paths again, and we're going to say, this is the, going to be the whole relief, and we're going to choose another tool. We're going to come down here and choose a 10 degree angle, um, 0.125 flat very sharp tool. This is an engraving tool but with this tool we can get really high definition 3D carving on this. So we're going to select that. Uh, the only thing you're going to give away is a little bit more time for machining time that is. Okay step over. We're going to take the recommended step down. We're going to go to three millimeter again. Feed rate. 
this time we're going to go slow it up just very much a little bit so as to get the clarity there it cuts down a little bit on any finishing so I'm going to say 20 millimeters instead of 20 25.4 uh, this can be 12 millimeters again but this time we're going to alter the RPM to 24,000 RPM which is the maximum and this is tool number two. Um, raster. And we're going to leave this the same. We're going to leave everything the same. But we're going to put down here uh, that this is um, finishing. tool number two and calculate okay because the step over is so fine uh, obviously you can't see you know the lines is just one red box because there's a lot of lines a lot of tool a lot of paths then should I say <laughs> okay now we're going to simulate this We're going to simulate tool path two. Simulate, and here we go. And you'll see the big difference when you come to here that it will it'll pick up all of the writing, the skull picture, and uh, it'll do a lot more detail in the air filter area here and everywhere actually. You can see the details starting to come here now. Okay, turn the contrast up a little bit and you can see so you can see there's a big difference in make, making a final cut or finishing cut with that conical tool. Okay, so if we open the simulation window again, and we'll choose a material that we can better represent this. I know if we come down here to soft gold. Okay. So you can really see that that is a 3D relief. Quite a nice representation there of the picture. Okay, so now what we need to do is to export the tool pass, which is a very easy thing to do. You just press on this representation of a three and a half inch floppy disk. Bring this one over. And this one is desktop cut one, cut one. This is only a demonstration, so I mean, you can name it whatever you want, really. And this is the best all rounder um, output G code that I've come across. And that is G code millimeter tap. Also, if you was working in inches, you could send G code um, inch tap. 
Now, Kafka, you know, will see then many, many different um, formats. But um, let me come down here. There's Mark Three. Um, but not all machines, even running Mark Three, accepts, you know, sort of the general Mark Three code. Uh, it's okay, but sometimes it can be a little glitchy. But I find this one, this is the most basic G code, and all machines um, accept this code. So we can save that one. Yeah. And then come to the next one. Bring that over and save it in the same way. We've got to name it differently. To and save. OK. So really, that is all you need to do. It's a very simple process to, uh, you know, you take a high resolution uh, picture. Now, it absolutely needs to be the highest resolution that you can obtain of a picture. Uh, it can be a photograph, anything. Um, and you can make a 3D engraving from it. And that's as easy as it is with Gavco. So, so if you've liked the tutorial today, please like and subscribe. And if you really like what I'm doing, you may consider becoming a patron to the channel. Patron information is down below the video in the video description area. Also, you will find a 5% discount for any of the CAVCO programs, uh, whichever way you, uh, or whichever plan that you choose. Even the professional program, it's still 5% off. So until the next video, thank you very much for joining me, and it's bye for now.